Welcome back to Calgary Barbell for a brand new week of equipped training. Um, today I did my equipped squat, I did my raw bench, and I did my slingshot bench. Those are the most noteworthy things anyways. So let's break those down a little bit. Equipped squat, uh, I realized today that I've now gotten good enough or my wraps have gotten broken in enough, maybe a combination of the two, that I can get an extra revolution on my knee wrap. Uh, and I think that really helps. I think that extra one time around, that extra bit of tension um, really, really helped. And I guess to give you guys a bit of an idea of how I've been able to do that, is I keep the roll of wrap very, very close to my leg, so I'm not having to stretch it out really far. We have a great video on this. Uh, I'll get Dylan to put it in the description box below, but Adam Ramsey talks about how to wrap your own knees. In that, he mentions keeping the roll really, really close to your leg so you're not having to stretch it super far to get to like the maximum stretch. Uh, so I've really sort of taken that to the extreme and I'll re-roll the wrap in my hand to get it closer to my leg so I can pull harder, get more stretch and better leverage, and then I just kind of lay it down on my leg. But that seems to be working really well. Like I said, I got an extra revolution. Today's squats, um, working up. Uh, I'm not sure what my, what my last one was before I put the wraps on, but my top singles were 340, which matches last week's PR, uh, or not PR rather, but uh, the last week's top single. 345 uh, and then my final rep was an all-time PR of 350 kilos and that's probably the best equipped uh, yeah equipped squat that I've done this whole training cycle my depth was by far the best I got a good side angle um, to make sure that I'm hitting depth in my suit I know I had a big issue with that at nationals getting only one out of three squats passed and I don't want to repeat that uh, at worlds or at the meet that I might be doing here uh, on in mid-september uh, so after that, I did 300 kilos for a set of five. 300 kilos uh, is pretty, you know, kind of one of those milestone numbers, so it was nice to get up to that and hit that for a good smooth set of five. After that, I moved on to my raw competition bench. Now last week, my raw bench, uh, I hit 165 for a single. This week, I hit 165 again, but it was actually an eight last week. Uh, really didn't feel good about it. It was pretty slow, pretty sluggish, misgrooved. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. It just wasn't a good bench press. This week I took it again and it went significantly faster, felt significantly better, so I was really happy about that. Came back for my slingshot work after that and hit 190 kilos for a single. Now that was probably a bit aggressive. I did 185 last week and probably should have gone 187. 190 today was uh, was definitely an eight and a half. It wasn't a full, uh, wasn't wasn't a good proper eight. Uh, and then after that, I hit 175 kilos for a set of four, which was a 10. So a um, little bit of an aggressive jump there, but still, I think that's up five or 10 kilos from last week. So still seeing lots of progress. Things are feeling really, really good. So moving on to the question of the day today, we got a question from Mark Freeman, and Mark wants to know, uh, he's getting his first pair of Olympic lifting shoes, uh, something with a heel in it, and he wants to know where a good place to start is. Now there's a bunch of places you can spend a bunch of money. Uh, I know Nike and Adidas have really high-end stuff. Titan has really high-end shoes and boots, uh, but you're looking at probably two to $300 for a pair of those. So the places I would look to start off with is I would look at, there's a Canadian company, uh, I don't even know the name of it, but if you go to weightliftingshoes.ca, you can send in a foot tracing and a money order and they'll make you a pair of shoes. I've had a pair of their do wins for about five years now and I still use them to bench in. I squatted in them for three, four years. Uh, they're great shoes, so check out that site. The other two pairs uh, I would recommend are gonna be the Rogue do wins. I believe those are a little bit on the cheaper end as well. Uh, I could be wrong. And the last, uh, third pair of, shoe I would, pair of shoes I would recommend is the Adidas Power Lifts. Now those will be a little bit less of a heel. I believe they're a uh, half inch as opposed to a three quarter inch effective heel, but they're a little bit closer to that, uh, you know, $100, $100 or, or just shy of $100 mark. So those are the three I'd recommend for you, Mark. Uh, those would be a good place to start. And then if you like them, 
wear them for a while, you'll get a lot of use out of any of those shoes. And then down the road, if you're looking to invest in something a little bit more expensive, you can look at one of those other brands. But uh, that's about it for today. Thanks for joining us. We will uh, see you in the next one. Make sure to hit that subscribe to stay tuned for more Project Pilsen, more equipped lifting and more equipped lifting talk. Hit that like button if you liked it and keep asking those damn questions of the day.